Tonight, an electric ride of a different kind. The first high-performance boat that is 100% electric. Yeah, this is pretty cool, and it's made right here in Central Florida. Eric Von Anken hit the water and got behind the wheel for a test drive. Okay, I've driven a lot of boats in my life. I've skied behind a lot of boats, but I have never, ever driven a ski boat quite like this. Get your cables ready, it's about to go down! We running this, let's go! I'm on the boat! I'm on the boat! Take a good hard look at the boat! You have to take a good look, because your eyes will trick your ears. When you start the engine, you hear nothing. You're looking at the first ever competition ski boat powered by two electric engines. Ski Nautique, headquartered here in East Orange County, wanted to be the first to build it. In the future, you know, we're going to see uh, continuing gas prices going up. You know, our ability to get fuel is going to be less. So it makes perfect sense for us to take the technology where the automotive industry is going. The equivalent of 202 horsepower will get even the biggest skier out of the water and will pull even the best skier in the world, the winningest slalom skier of all time, Andy Mapple. Could you tell you were behind an electric boat? When you're skiing, no. The difference is when, you, when we sit down at the end of the lake and you see the boat kind of moving around, you see the boat moving, but you don't hear anything. And if you think this is just a small ski boat, think again, it's really big enough for the whole family. It seats one, two, three, four, five, six people in all. Already, Nautique has figured out how to make this boat run for a couple of hours at a time before it needs a charge. And charging takes only four hours. It is going to cost a little bit more than a gas boat, but look at it like this. The batteries are included. That means it's like getting your gas up front for the next 10 years. I'm Eric Von Aiken in Orange County. And yes, I'm on a boat.